Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what slope is. So, what is slope? Well, simply put, slope measures the steepness of a line. So, how much a line goes up or down as it moves from left to right. Now, we're actually going to start with a couple of examples of slope in the physical world around us in order to help us understand slope. Then we will move to slopes of lines on graphs. Let's jump into number one, where we have two mountains. And we can see that one mountain is steeper than the other. They have different slopes. This top mountain is steeper than the bottom mountain. Now I want us to start thinking about vertical change, up and down, and horizontal change, side to side. Basically, how fast are the mountains rising or falling as we look from left to right? The faster the vertical change happens as we move horizontally, the steeper something will be. Think about climbing the top mountain compared to the bottom. Let's say you go up three feet for every one foot forward for the top mountain, and then only two feet up for every one foot forward for the bottom mountain. That makes sense because we can see that the top mountain is steeper. And this is what slope is all about. Slope measures steepness by comparing vertical change to horizontal change. Moving on to number two, we have a house. And we can see that we have lines matched up with the roof and then the ground next to the house. The slopes of the roof and the ground help direct water away from the house in order to avoid flooding and to help with drainage. So we can see that we have vertical change as we move horizontally. Slope is a very important aspect of building and engineering. So those are a couple of quick examples of slope in the physical world around us. Keep in mind, we can have more gentle inclines or declines or more steep inclines or declines. Slope helps us measure this. Slope helps us put a number on steepness. Let's move on to our next examples where we are going to find the slopes of lines on a graph. Now let's take a look at number three where we have a line graphed on the coordinate plane. Now looking at this line, you'll notice that this line is moving upward as it's moving from left to right. This is an example of what we call a positive slope because again, this line is moving upward as it's moving from left to right. But what is the slope of this line and how do we figure this out? Well, that's where this box right here comes into play. Slope equals rise over run. So the vertical change over the horizontal change. Again, rise over run, which is the ratio of vertical change to the horizontal change. Basically, how fast is this line moving upward as it's moving from left to right? Now keep in mind, there is a formula we can use to find the rise and the run. But here, we're going to count units in order to help us understand rise over run. What I mean by counting units is just to count how far up the rise and how far over the run we go. Now when finding slope, we use any two points on the line. It doesn't matter which two. We will get the same slope. So don't get too held up on that. Let's pick this point right here and this point right here. We need how far up and how far over we go between these two points. We're going to move from the left point to the right point. We go up one unit, two units, and that aligns us with the other point. So our rise, the vertical change, is two. Now we need to see how far over we go. One unit, two units, three units. That's our run, the horizontal change. So that's three. And that's all the information we need for slope. So slope equals rise 
over run. And you'll notice I'm using m for slope. We can use m to represent slope. So slope equals rise over run. And now we can plug in our rise and run. Our rise here is two and our run is three. So this is our slope, two over three, two thirds. But before moving on, I want to show that any other two points will work as well. So let's try this point and this point. So rise of one unit, two units, and then run of one unit, two units, three units. So we get the same exact thing. And that will be the case for this point and this point as well. Rise of one, two, and run of one, two, three. So rise of two, run of three. But what if I do something like using this point and this point? Well, we have a rise of one unit, two units, three units, four units, and a run of one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six units. Well, it looks like we got a different slope, but actually think about fractions and simplifying fractions. So if we come back over to the side and we say we have a slope of, again, the rise is four and the run is six. So we have a slope of four over six, four sixths. Now, when it comes to slope, we wanna look to simplify any fractions. We have a common factor of two that we can divide four and six by, and that gives us, well, four divided by two is two, and six divided by two is three. So we get that slope of two thirds. Now this slope of two thirds tells us that the line goes up two units for every three units it goes to the right. Let's move on to number four. Taking a look at number four, you'll notice that this line is moving downward from left to right. This is what we call a negative slope. So again, it's moving downward from left to right. So let's find the slope here. Slope equals rise over run. We will use these two points right here. So let's find the rise, the vertical change first and we're going down here. So this is going to be negative. We go down one unit, two units, three units, four units in order to align with the other point. So our rise, our vertical change here is negative four. And then we go over one unit to get to our other point, and that's our run, the horizontal change. And that's a positive one because we move to the right one unit. So our slope is negative four. That's our rise over one. That's our run. So our slope here is negative four over one. And since our denominator is one here, we can also write this slope as just negative four. Either of these will work and mean the same thing. Keeping the fractional form makes the rise and run a little more clear, but you will see slope written as just an integer as well. So if you ever see the slope written as just an integer, so no fraction, the run is one. So there you have it. There's a basic overview of what slope is. Just remember, slope measures the steepness of a line and we use rise over run to find slope. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.